Hello everyone. It's been a long time I haven't posted much videos in my YouTube channel. So I just thought of okay, let's again start creating few interactive videos especially on learning about the technological tools or the daily office tools which everyone can use or everybody is using in the corporate sectors or everywhere so the most uh, important feature or the most important and commonly used software which everybody would like to use is the powerpoint the powerpoint it looks very simple but then when we try to go deeper in the sense when we try to learn more interactively then it will be very easy for you to prepare catchy presentations so let's have a new look on uh, the microsoft powerpoint so to start uh, microsoft powerpoint just go to start menu and type power pnt mostly in windows 10 you don't have to uh, type much you can just uh, type powerpoint so it will open for you so just wait for uh, the powerpoint to get open actually the powerpoint versions vary according to the microsoft office which you have installed in your device but then almost uh, after the 2013 version the powerpoint presentation almost looks similar so now when you open this microsoft powerpoint again uh, you will see a lot of options over here in the this is the home page actually where uh, you will see a lot of options over here so if you want to start a new presentation you just have to click on uh, blank presentation so which means uh, uh, you want to create presentation on your own then you can just go in for blank presentation option but there are other templates available as well in online so you can see a lot of templates over here and if you want you can uh, search a few more templates according to your gendry in uh, online and you can download the pre-designed templates as well and you can just modify it so now this is the first slide which will be created when you click blank, blank presentation in microsoft powerpoint now mostly the first slide consists of uh, a title and a subtitle option where uh, you can give any title to it I mean depending upon the type of presentation you are giving like for example if uh, you are taking a class or a seminar in school so you might select a chapter or a topic so that uh, chapter name or topic name you can select or you can type here the same way if you are giving any business presentation so depending upon the type of topic which is required for uh, business presentation that you can uh, highlight over here that you can type over here so it depends on what presentation you are giving okay so what you can just do is uh, i'm just going to give a, a topic here beginners uh, tool for powerpoint presentation or we can say powerpoint presentation for beginners something like this you can type and below you can give any subtitle by any name you can give like knowledge by it or whatever so like this you can just simply finish it off in the first slide then if you want to create a new slide you have to go to new slide option so when you click on this arrow you will come across various layouts which you can use for making another slide so if you want only again the title slide you can use title slide or title and one content you want to insert means you can use the second one option or you want two contents to be used in one slide means you can use or you want to make comparison type of slide you can do you can use this option so the layout will help you to make the another slide depending upon your uh, uh, whatever the need which is required 
for the other slide which you want to make now what i'm going to do is uh, i'll just select the title and content by default when you click new slide the same thing will appear so here the thing will be different here it will be like title and text option will be there so here you can give title so what is a powerpoint software so like this you can give any title and uh, few points about powerpoint you can uh, type over here like for example powerpoint is a software designed by microsoft corporation it's one of the widely used software to create presentations like this some sort of whatever the points you want to type you can just type it okay so this bulleting points will help you to give extra information about what title you have typed over here now again if you want to create uh, another slide you can go to new slide or there is a shortcut key for that uh, you just have to press control m so when you press control m a new slide will be created now in another slide another uh, a title you want to give means you can just give here overview of powerpoint presentation now in this page i just wanted to include one picture or i just want to include one video means you can insert picture and video as well so here itself you can see lot of options available here uh, when you hover the mouse you can see for inserting pictures this one for inserting online pictures you can use this as an option which means uh, if you have already downloaded the picture then you should use this if you haven't downloaded any picture and wanted to add pictures directly from online then you should use online pictures option and uh, if you want to insert a video then you should use insert video option so like this uh, from these tools whichever you want to insert you can insert now what you can just do is uh, go to pictures option and uh, you have to find out pictures from maybe wherever you have uh, uploaded any picture so you can just go here and uh, somewhere you can just go and find any picture so this is some picture which is already available already downloaded so when i click insert so that picture will be inserted in the powerpoint presentation now one more advantage is uh, in case if you are using new version of microsoft powerpoint automatically it will give you a lot of design ideas where uh, you can even make this picture look very interactive you can see here if i select this option automatically the pictures will be repositioned and uh, the title will also be redesigned in such a way that your powerpoint will look a little bit more royal instead of the a uh, normal design so like this you can uh, add uh, any picture if you want then the same way if you are uh, adding if you want to add any video in microsoft powerpoint then what you can just do is you can um, a short clip on like this something you can type here powerpoint presentation then you can either use this option so this option will help you when you have already downloaded the video in the system if you haven't downloaded the video you can even directly download from online and you can insert it so there are two ways actually this is one of the way to insert picture and video another way is you just have to go to insert tab then you have to select video option so here two options are there one is online video another is video on my pc so what i am just going to do is uh, i am going to do online video means i have to go to online video here you have to um, enter the url for the online video url means uh, the website link where the video is available so that uh, video url you can copy and paste it over here so directly from the internet it will it will do live streaming of that video 
right from your PowerPoint presentation. Another option is uh, you can go to videos on my PC and uh, whichever the video you have downloaded in the PowerPoint presentation, you can select that and uh, you can see voila, the video is inserted. The same way for videos also, automatically the design ideas will give you a lot of design options for your video clip. So whichever the idea you like for your video, you can uh, select that option. So that will make your PowerPoint, uh, you can, that can give your slide a rich look than the normal one. Okay. Now other options are available like this also you can just uh, do some tweaking in the PPT. So you can select from design ideas and then furthermore if you want to tweak what you can just do is you can select this and uh, you can do some changes in the fonts. So whichever the font you want that font you can select and if you want to change any font color as well so you can go here to the font color and select any color any rich color the same way for this as well you can select this and you can change any fonts here also you can give different colors or highlighting options as well like for example if there is any important point which you need to highlight you can select that important point and you can click highlight option so you can see here uh, all these tweaks can be done in a slide so at least you might have got some basic idea on uh, how to create different slides with uh, the information and by inserting pictures and also through inserting any video okay then after creating all the slides if you want to save it this is very important you go to file click save option and uh, click this pc then you should go to browse option wherever you want to save so you can click the location and you can uh, give any name to it so whatever the title you have given by default the same title he will take as the final name but else if you want to give any other name also you can change and click save now the powerpoint will be saved okay so this is just the beginning of uh, creating different slides using powerpoint presentation there are a lot more advanced features which is available when it comes to microsoft powerpoint a lot more tweaks and tri tips and tricks are available uh, when it comes to microsoft powerpoint those things we will discuss in our next video okay so till then all of you take care stay home stay safe okay bye bye